biocontrol agents in plant disease management so now we will see uh, what will be the probability questions that we can expect from biocontrol side for asrbnet 2023 plant pathology so my name is nh shankar reddy and i am working as assistant professor in uh, kasar best you so he, here uh, i just placed you know like uh, some biocontrol product uh, uh, products used for the management of uh, plant diseases so starts with uh, ampelomyces quisqualis 10 that is otherwise called as aq10 which is especially recommended for powdery mildew of grapes okay powdery mildew of grapes it's a very very important one aq10 or ampelomyces quisqualis 10 is the biocontrol agent recommended for powdery mildew of grapes so such kind of questions we can see so the second one is the candida oleophila uh, the trade name is aspire so that can be recommended for penicillium venturia aqualis that is uh, uh, botrytis has species and various kinds of uh, uh, target pathogens are there. Then the Trichoderma harizianum, that is a trade name is Binapti, and that can be recommended against a wilt, wheat, a called disease and root rot, and Fusarium oxysporum, and Biofox C, Pseudomonas syringae, and uh, ES10 and ES11. So the trade name is uh, Biosave 100 and uh, 110. And coming to the Pseudomonas uh, chlororaphis, that is uh, uh, Sedomen, and Pseudomonas fluorescens uh, conquer and uh, coniotherium minutens it is a uh, biocontrol agent recommended for sclerotia sclerotiana sclerotiorum and uh, coniotherium minutens agar coni this is a trade name that can be recommended for against sclerotiana sclerotiorum sclerotiana minor and uh, burkholderia sepi a trade name is uh, deni that can be recommended for rhizoctonia pithium and fusarium species bacillus subtilis and various species of bacillus subtilis are uh, that can be sold outside with the uh, uh, trade names of uh, Companion, Epic, Kodia, Kodia KHB, Kodia KD, the various names and uh, Serende. Uh, these are all the various uh, uh, biocontrol agents and uh, the most important one is Agrobacterium K84 and Agrobacterium K1026. So Agrobacterium Radiobacter K84, the trade name is Galtrol that can be recommended against Agrobacterium Timifacians. Okay? Agrobacterium Radiobacter K84, trade name is Galtrol. Agrobacterium radiobacter K1026, the trade name is no gall or digal that can also be exploited against Agrobacterium timifacians. So here, very, very, very important one is they can give something like that. So the trade name of Agrobacterium uh, radiobacter K84, uh, Galtrol, Agrobacterium radiobacter K1026, no gall or digal that can be recommended or act as a best biocontrol agent against Agrobacterium timifacians, which causes galls in stone fruits and other things uh, you know fasciolum minus lilies uh, lilies and that is uh, a trade name is facial uh, which can be recommended for nematodes and uh, pithium oligandrum that can be uh, the trade name is uh, polygandrum recommended against pithium ultimum and uh, glyocladium virens uh, that is soil guard or glyo guard which can be recommended against uh, damping of diseases root rot of uh, uh, pathogens especially rhizoctonia solani and pithium species and uh, Plebeopsis gigantia or Penifora gigantia, the trade name is the root stop, which can be recommended against heterobistium and anosum. And the important thing we need to consider here the first biocontrol agent is Plebeopsis gigantia or Penifora gigantia. This is the first biocontrol agent that will be that is uh, developed. Plebeopsis gigantia, otherwise called as Penifora gigantia, that can be acted against heterobistium fungi or heterobistium anosas. So, I will tell you some important things what we can we need to consider is Ampliomesis quisqual is one, Candida oleophila is a very, very important one, and uh, Coniotherium minutens, Coniotherium minutens, and the next one is this one is very, very important, Agrobacterium radiobacter K84026. Uh, these are all very, very important. And, uh, Pasilumesis uh, liliacianum. The questions will be asked like which of the following biocontrol agent is especially exploited against a nematode species? Something like that they will ask. That is Pasilumesis liliacinus. Uh, and this is the what is the first biocontrol agent? That is Plebeopsis gigantia or Penifora gigantia that is acted against Heterobacterium anosus. Now we will see what are all the specific biocontrol agents uh, recommended for uh, various diseases. So the first one is a cucurbit's powdery mildew, so which is caused by Galvanomyces cucurbitarum, otherwise called as Podospora xanthi. Uh, the specific biocontrol agent recommended for the cucurbit's powdery mildew is telesepsis. And when it comes to grapes powdery mildew, I think in previous slide we discussed today, which is caused by Ancelina nicator or Erisipha nicator, uh, Ampliomyces quisqualis 10 or AQ10. And the next one is the rust, that is a Paxinia species, Darluca pilum or uh, Spareolipsis uh, pilum or verticillium lacani can be recommended as a biocontrol agents. 
grapes downy mildew that is plasma para viticola which is uh, uh, you know uh, viscerium proliferatum is recommended as a biocontrol agent cucurbits downy mildew pseudopernospora cubensis and uh, uh, gastromycetes recommended as a biocontrol agent when it comes to fire blight of apple irvinia amylovora irvinia herbicola is recommended as a biocontrol agent when it comes to apple scab uh, venturi inequalis candida oleophila uh, Atelier bombicina and ketomium globosum. This is a very, very important. Ketomium globosum uh, is a specific biocontrol agent that it can be recommended against apple scab. And the next one is the crown gall of rosaceae, which is caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens, uh, caused by a uh, biocontrol agent is agrobacterium radiobacter, uh, agrosin K84 or galtrol or K1026 nogol. And ergot claviceps uh, microcephala, which is a uh, fusarium sambucinum act as a bicontrol agent. When it comes to womycetes, pythium, and phyta of the rock, ketomium globosum. It's a very, very important. So, here, uh, what is the specific uh, bicontrol agent recommended for womycetes group of fungi? Something like that they will ask. That is a ketomium globosum. And white mold fungus, uh, that bicontrol agent is coniothyrium minutus. It is also very, very important. Coffee rust bicontrol agent is caused by Hemily Vastrix, caused by Vetis. I mean, uh, the specific bicontrol agent recommended is Vaticillium hemilia and carnation rust caused by uh, Euromyces dianthi, Vaticillium lacani and ca uh, carnation cyst nematode that is uh, Heterodera gly uh, glycinis, Vaticillium lacani can be recommended as a bicontrol agent. White pine uh, blister blight, Cronasium rubicola that is Tubercularia maxima can be recommended as a bicontrol agent. For yeast, Penipora gigantia and post harvest diseases, Candida oleophila can be recommended as a bicontrol agent. And here, uh, some of the important commercially available uh, uh, bicontrol agents against plant diseases that is agrobacterium uh, uh, radiobacter can strain uh, K84, strain K84. I think we have already discussed about this. That is a no galtrol, galtrol, and that can be recommended against the target pathogen agrobacterium uh, tumefaciens and K1026, that is agrobacterium radiobacter strain K1026. Uh, trade name is uh, uh, that is a product name is uh, Nogal, we can also call it as a trade name Nogal and a Digal. Uh, target disease agrobacterium tumefaciens and bacillus subtilis strain uh, GB4, uh, GB4, GB34 is the trade name and Rhizoctonia and Fusarium and uh, bacillus subtilis is GB03, uh, Kodiak and Campanian is the trade name so that can be exploited against Rhizoctonia and Aspergillus and these are all the few biocontrol agents that I mentioned here, uh, let me discuss only important one and Ampliomyces quisqualis 10 that is AQ10 that can be recommended against powdery mildew of grapes and uh, these are all the few important biocontrol agents that are commercially available against the uh, various kinds of uh, uh, plant disease management so coming to the list of antibiotics in plant disease management so far we discussed is uh, anti uh, sorry uh, bicontrol agents now we will see the commercial antibiotics okay 2,4 diacetyl fluoroglucinol that can be the source actually isolated from pseudomonas fluorescens that can be targeted against pythium so here the question can be asked in any way they can ask uh, this antibiotic is isolated from 2,4 uh, diacetyl fluoroglucinol actually isolated from or maybe uh, this can be targeted against so such a kind of uh, 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 questions that we may expect and the next one is agrosin 84 or k84 that is agrobacterium radiobacter and bacillo, uh, bacillomycin that is bacillus subtilis exploited against aspergillus flavors bacillomycinus and fenzanin and isolated from uh, bacillus amylo liquefactions exploited against fusarium accessorum uh, xanthobacin gliotoxin zutromycin a uh, and uh, mycosubtilis in herbio Herbiocolin, Eterin A, Pyrolutin and Pyrolutin and you know like Fenzenin, Agrosin uh, uh, 84, Beta Lactin, Omicin in the and Ketomin and uh, Zeladamycin, so Geldanamycin and these are all the various kinds of antibiotics that is exploited against the various kinds of plant pathogens I think uh, that I have given here. So hope you guys, uh, uh, it will be, I mean, uh, please go through that. And here I told you and we are discussing continuously about, about uh, agrosin K84 that is agrobacterium radiobacter K84 the trade name is Galtrol and the next one is agrobacterium K1026 the trade name is Nogal or Digal it is actually a microbial pesticide produced from agrobacterium radiobacter and it is used as a biocontrol agent against agrobacterium tumefaciens now we are agrobacterium tumefaciens is called as agrobacterium rhizogenous so this agrobacterium tumefaciens normally causes crown gall in stone fruits maybe apples and all those things all stone fruits this agrobacterium tumefaciens can cause a disease so these two strains agrobacterium uh, k84 and 1026 can be exploited especially exploited against this uh, agrobacterium radiobacter here except for the deletion of a small portion of dna removed in a k84 
two strains are essentially identical and have the same characteristics which means the agrobacterium radiobacter and agrobacterium tumefaciens having the same kind of characters but when it comes to k84 a small portion of dna is removed a small portion of dna is removed so this agrobacterium uh, radiobacter k84 and 1026 starts to behave like as a biocontrol agents so this is a very small portion about uh, uh, biocontrol agents there is a lot to uh, look into uh, especially for biocontrol agents and I hope this will be useful and if there is any further information you guys need you just uh, uh, ping me in the comment box stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers